Hi guys, welcome to Flying Grip Academy. In this video, we are going to see how to install Tomcat and how to install NetBeans and how to run Perlet and JSP in your NetBeans. Go to the Google search and search for a Tomcat. So now here you can able to find the Tomcat software downloads and here you are having a binary distributions. In that particular binary distribution, you download the particular file. So now here you select the 32 bit 64 bit service installer so click, uh, click on this one so now it is going to download the tomcat in a similar manner search for bins latest version and download the netbins 16 and it will be redirecting to that particular page so now select the which particular netbins you want to download here we are going to download netbins windows 64.exe so now it has started downloading so now the TomCat here has been successfully downloaded and we are going to click the install and uh, click on next agree the terms and conditions and click on host manager and examples click on next here you need to set the port and the connector port is 8080 and the username and password which I am going to give is admin admin if a particular port 8080 is occupied you need to change the port number click on next and it has identified the java jra and click on next and install now click on finish uh, now apache netbeans has uh, successfully downloaded and click on install so now click on yes so click on next it is going to show so which particular versions it is supporting base ide java sc java enterprise edition HTML5, JavaScript, PHP. Click on next. Accept the terms and the license agreement. Click on next. Install. So now installation has finished successfully. Click on finish. So now double click on the Apache NetBeans which is shown on your desktop. Now Apache NetBeans has been installed successfully. So now it has opened and click on file and new project now we need to choose the project which kind of project we are going to create we are going to create a first servlet program i am going to create a java with and and which kind of project you are going to create so click on this one and expand the session click on java web we are going to create a java web application so now click on next at the first time it is going to activate the java web and uh, enterprise edition so it will take time now here it is going to create the uh, project name and the project name is web application and if you want to rename the project and uh, i am going to rename the project as servlet and js so here i have renamed the project name servlet jsp click on next so now there is no servers and we need to add the server so here you need to click add the server and the server which we have installed is apache tomcat enterprise edition click on that one and click next so now here you need to browse the server location and i am going to browse the server here we are having c drive in c drive in program files the particular programs will be installed click on that one and uh, select apache software foundation so if it is not found in program files and uh, again you need to go to the back so browse you, you may be downloaded the 32 bit version so click on c drive program files x86 apache software foundation tomcat 10.0 and click on open at the first time it is going to show so the specified server location folder is not valid at that time what you need to do is you need to go to the c drive program files x86 and apache software foundation and tomcat 10.0 and you need to get the permanent access and click on continue so now again you need to browse copy the url and browse and uh, select the tomcat and click on open so now it has successfully 
rectified that problem so now username and you need to type admin and the password is admin so click on finish so now servers are registered click on next and here we are not using the frameworks at present click on finish Now here the server JSP project is activated. So now here are the source package. So click on the source package and click on new. We are going to create a first servlet application. Click on servlet. So now it is the new servlet. Here I am going to type servlet demo. So next here it is going to ask the package. I am going to type Pradeep. So click on next. Here you need to add the deployment descriptor web.xml. If it is not there and it is going to show the error. Please make sure you have ticked the deployment descriptor which is web.xml and click finish. So now the first servlet program has finished successfully. And by itself, it is going to show a simple demo program, which is a hello world. So now here I am going to click right click run file. So now it is going to show servlet demo. If you are going to click here, it is going to show the errors. The errors are caused because of that particular package which you are going to import. In Java, X is replaced by Jakarta. So here you need to replace the Java X package with Jakarta. In Apache 10 and uh, from Java X to Jakarta. In the lower versions Tomcat 7, 8, it is going to support Java X package. And we need to replace that particular Java X with Jakarta. So now you can able to right click and run the file. Click on OK. Allow the access. Click on allow access. So now it is going to ask to authenticate the Tomcat password. So here you need to type admin and password is admin. Click on OK. Now it is going to open with your browser. So now it has launched the servlet demo example which is servlet.jsp here you are having a url http localhost 8080 servlet jsp is a project name and the servlet demo dot java is a file of servlet so here we are having a servlet demo dot java so in this manner you can able to run the first servlet program here we are having a process request http servlet request and http servlet response now we are going to create a jsp file so now here select the web pages so now click on the web page and click on new which particular jsp file you are going to create create a jsp file now select the jsp file name demo jsp Here I have typed name of the file is uh, demo JSP and the extension is JSP file. Click on finish. So now it is going to show the content of the JSP page. So here the page content it is going to use a include. So it means at the rate symbol stands for include. We are having a different types of uh, JSP tags. So which we will discuss later. So at this moment, I am going to explain only how to run the JSP. So now here in the HTML page, which is a default simple HTML tags, the title is JSP page. So hello world. So hello, I am going to type instead of world, I am going to type JSP. So now run the file. At the first time, it is going to take some time in order to run this particular Java server page. 
so if it is uh, taking time you can open the browser and uh, here instead of uh, serlet demo you replace the url demo jsp dot jsp so now it is going to show hello world page so now the program has not been saved so now i have saved the program and refresh the program now it is going to show hello jsp in this manner you can able to execute the serlet program and as well as jsp program if you like this video please like share and subscribe my channel thanks for watching